Do you have to train to failure for hypertrophy muscle growth? Well, the truth is no. For hypertrophy, you want to get close to failure, but not. you don't actually have to get to failure. You know, I like to be within two to five reps. But the caveat here is the more experienced you are, the better it is if you do try and get to that point of absolute fatigue at some point in your workout. So what I mean by that is once you've got a bunch of decades of training under your life, like I've got 40 years of training. So I've used all the tricks. I've used loads, I've used volume, I've used reps, I've used sets, I've, used, I've done it, right? So the more experience you have, the, the more going to failure will actually benefit you for hypertrophy. But it's a matter of doing that safely. So, you know, I'm not going to do that in, I'm not going to go to failure in a, a compound movement. I'm not going to do a, a free bar squat and go to failure. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pick um, a safer exercise. I'm going to pick probably a, a single joint, you know, something like a thigh extension. I'm going to pick something like that, like a single joint movement, a safer exercise uh, to go to failure at, um, you know, less risk. I'm going to probably also pick for it to be the last set of the workout and just burn it out. But yes, the more experienced you are, failure is something you should seek at some point during your workout.